Hey guys, this is Edwin from The Recording Connection. Today we're going to be looking at using effects such as flangers on guitars and how it actually could add some depth into just a scratch guitar uh, take or anything like that and actually make it something from, from basically nothing. Let me show you what I mean. So let me play you uh, the guitar here. Great, awesome, right? It's straightforward guitar. There's no effects. There's no amps. Nothing like that. And this is I'm I'm putting I the reason I did this is because I was thinking it's like what if you just have a guitar player and there's no amp. You you're in an apartment. You you both just have headphones. What can you make out of that? And there's a lot of great things that you could. For example, I'm using this Sound Toys little uh, micro shift. I believe it's free, and you could get it online at their website. And uh, what what it brings in is such a flanger but it's actually it brings in some nice low end that it could actually add to the guitar let me show you what i mean same thing high pass filter here Check this out, guys. And at a certain point, this 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 guitar, it actually gets in. It has like a, a rock feel to it, right? It kind of gives you that as opposed to as opposed to this, right? That's very cool. Something else that you guys could do uh, from that is actually uh, delay your reverb, which is very cool as well. You send it to delay, and then from the delay, it'll go into your reverb. That's another cool, cool, very cool technique that I would recommend you guys using as well. Um, yeah, make sure that the same principles apply to these kind of effects, right? You're gonna be, you're gonna be uh, every time you use a different effect. For example, let me show you what. I'm talking about you're gonna come up to different problems such as extra extra overtones from the plugin that I, you guys should look out for uh, for example So for example, this one, it's called Thick. You could see how, you could see how it, it actually brings up uh, with the strumming, right? That, especially that low note, which is something that might not translate very well in the mix, right? Makes sense why it's called Thick. Uh, Where I would use this, but there's other great, great effects. To this one. Beautiful, and guys, make sure that whenever you guys are using this, these different effects, make sure you know how you're routing this. For example, this this guitar, I'm routing it straight from the output of that module into an aux with that flanger uh, effect. The reason I didn't put it in, in a mono track is because it's actually a stereo plugin. So guys, that is how to add effects such as a flanger to your guitars. 